Hello and welcome back to Charlotte. We're continuing All-Star Race Weekend with All-Star Qualifying. The track has just opened up to these drivers and we're going to have to see where these drivers will start for the third annual, well technically it's second because my, well, my season two doesn't technically count, but it's still season three. So see, so it's still a third annual Budweiser All-Pro Series All-Star Race. As you see the drivers out on the track right now sitting on sitting there on pit road. It looks like we have our first car to come out that looks to be like the 34 of Peter Saviano. I am being joined up here by Dylan Young, whose clone is down there gonna qualify his car. Dylan, thank you for joining me again. I guess my clone or something's in there, or Sam, whoever it is. I'm failing. And it's, it's the clone of Dylan Young. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> As you see, our first car out on the racetrack is Peter Saviano. He made it. We all, we've only had five different winners on, on the season so far. So Peter Saviano was the one that was one of the um, freaking one of the 15 who made it in via being top 20 in points. So we have to see what kind of lap he can put down. Heading off into turn number two here. So tell us, how was the how was the race car, how how was the track handling in your practice? Uh, it's feeling pretty good, you know. I mean, we've got a good Ford. I mean, we've had such a good car this season and all that. Uh, just the goal is to that way after the also races to get a good top ten, you know, in you know run and all this stuff, get ourselves well in the standings and still try to compete for wins. But uh, we'll see what we can happen. You know, we got we got quite a ways to go until the chase and all that stuff comes around. So. I'm looking forward to see what we can do though throughout the rest of the season after the All-Star Race. It's, the All-Star Race is like an all bets are off million dollar paycheck and all that deal, so we'll see what, what can happen. Oh, and speaking of seeing what can happen, well, Dylan Young, you were on the pole, but now it just dropped a second. So let's yeah, don't doubt the Fords. <laughs> so let's go through the field here. We got the number seven of rookie Cody Hagen. Once He's one of the drivers that got in via the top 20 in points. He's had an okay season, as you can tell, since he's in the top 20 in points. Um, so, other than, you know, being in the top... Oh, he just hit the wall there. And that's going to kill that momentum right there. Yeah, it definitely will. Although, he, oh. did, he, he went... Whatever he had, he had something good, but he fell to 10th on that lap. But, well, the um, problem with, the, with this here is that, you know, when we were here doing the, uh, the showdown and all that, you know, a lot of drivers were having trouble trying to pass on the inside line. The, you know, the outside line was getting just a powerful run and you know not much you could do in the inside line except for like trying to pass a car when they hit the wall on the outside line and the seven's going down pit road which kind of would be a good decision yeah so then here's Nathan Hudson Hudson is having a good season he doesn't have a win he's in the top 20 in points which is how he's in this he's how he's in the all-star field but Hudson driving the number 21 for Wood Brothers he's had a pretty okay season he got in a pretty a pretty bad wreck at Talladega but he's back and he's ready to go. That's just up ahead here. Here's everyone's favorite driver, Connor <laughs> Breeden. He's he everyone's got in, favorite driver. He's got in via the top ten and or top twenty in point standings as he comes across the line. Something that doesn't surprise me is already happening. Oh man, everyone's favorite driver. I'm gonna have to remember that one, Michael. Look who look who's on the pole. Trent Dunham. That's actually a big surprise. You normally don't see Trent trying to go for polls like this. Are you sure? That, I mean, well, he's not in the poll anymore. He was, but Trent, he's won like four races of the season. He is, and I'm, I always laugh when I say this because I know he detests him so much. Trent, Trent is literally the Kevin Harvick of the Budweiser All-Pro Series. I, you know what? Trent can surprise you at times. You know, I've looked at Dunham as a guy that can be a conservative mode. He'll, get, he'll be a guy here, but all of a sudden now in this series, he's been a guy that's not on fire, so that's been very huge. And normally, like, like when it comes to times like this, you normally don't see him go up there for the front. He'll just guy be conserved mode, be ready for the main event. But right now, he just wants to show off right now, and he's doing a hell of a job right now. And ironic enough, if a Kevin Harvick, well, he's battling one right now. Yeah, that is that is Steve Pollard in the four who's currently on the pole. Let's see what Trent can do this time around. I don't think Trent's happy about that, that that a Harvick car beat him. So, yeah, but anyways, it's just like we said, 
Trent Dunham, he's he's won four of ten the first the first well no, he's won four of the first ten races. We are halfway through the regular season at this point. And Trent has won forty percent of 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 pretty much yeah, forty percent of the first ten races. Well, so, Trent has a little bit somewhat reminder of me of Mason Powers in the NRSL. I mean when when twelve races came in, he won three races, and it was unbelievable. Eventually, he picked up his fourth win at the season finale in Joltis, and already Trent's in his fourth victory of the season, and not even not just only ten races in, like you mentioned. That's that just blows my mind away. Just to know that Trent's got a lot of talent, he and I think it's early to say too that he wants this championship as much as anybody else does. Still looking here, we got a, we got a little under a, a, a little over four minutes left in this qualifying session. Cody H or Larry Hagen make it in via the top 20 in points. There's uh, James Silverfox. He made it into the All-Star race by winning the, uh, not only being top 20 in points, but he also made it in by winning at Talladega, getting pushed by all of his teammates, pretty much. And then uh, Anthony McCurry, top 20. Here's uh, the 88 of Cole Daly. He's, he is in the top 20 in points. There's Alex May, who after, heart, after his heartbreak at Phoenix ended up winning at Auto Club, and then right behind him is the Daytona 500 winner. That's Dougie Shears in the 11. So it's pretty much safe to say that all but two of the, all but two of the uh, Joe Gibbs racing, or yeah, all yeah, all but two of the Joe Gibbs racing cars have a win so far this season. And here's the guy who just took over first, uh, took over the pole. That's Charles Jackson in the five. Jackson's got something fast right there in there's in that farmers insurance Chevrolet. And right behind it, his teammate in uh, Stephen Pollard the third in the twenty four. He's uh, third quickest right now on the board. We're, uh, here's Trent Dunham still battling with Kevin with the Kevin Harvick car. We got about less than three minutes to go in practice, so let's find uh, the rest of our drivers that's in the field of what we got there. Let's see. There's the twenty two of Carson Gunn right there. He, he won last. He won last week at Richmond. So he was it. That's how he was able to secure his spot. Plus, he was all. In the, everyone who's in this race was in the top twenty in points. All the guys who won were in the top twenty in points. And then here's here's Cameron Pemberton. He was he's the lone Joe Gibbs driver who uh, who finished at, at, at Talladega. He was the lone driver to finish outside of the top five. Well, the good news for for Gibbs is that you know they were gonna have two cars in the All Star race, and now they're gonna have a third with the eighteen. Of Pemberton, but Pemberton's not in here, so you know, not yet, at least to say. But you know, Gibbs, yeah, they're gonna have a good advantage heading into this All Star race. Yes, yes, they do. It'd be, it'd be pretty safe to say here. If they and they're the only Toyotas oh, in the field. Fuck so we'll see what can happen. There's a 78 right there, Matt Schreier. Matt, yep, Matt Schreier. <laughs> He's uh, it's currently 17th. Let's see who's the slowest. The slowest of the drivers so far is Anthony McCurry in the twenty in the in the sixty one. Yeah, Anthony McCurry's not having a good run. The Audi right there, but just give it time. You know, Audi's not normally well at this type of track. He's he's got a good super speedway package and a good road course package. Not much in the speedway though. You see, you see here, he's running all by himself. He's barely hitting one the one nineties right now, and it's a it's a wonder why no wonder why he's a little slow here. He's got to find a draft partner is what it is, but time's running out, though. I think it's just safe to say just ride it out. Yeah, just keep your car safe. But we got about a minute five left to go, and looks like the five at Jackson may still be the fastest, and we'll see what is the case, but a good lap right there, 27.638, beating out the four right there. He's, and, good, uh, he's someone to look out for. He's Trent. Trent's all by himself now. He's not really battling anybody. So you know what's amazing, too? The 38 car is actually fourth fastest, and we didn't even talk about him at all. Preston Plore. Yeah, Preston Plore in the 38 car. He won at Las Vegas on fuel strategy. So that's how he was able to get in, also being in the top 20 in points. Trent, that time by, ran a 20.09. So, yeah, he's not very fast by himself. He needs to be in a pack with the cars, but... Yeah, both front row cars are actually in the top ten, rather. All right, so Trent, this, this is going to be his final lap, so he's got to capitalize here. Let's see what he gets. As about ten seconds is remaining, he might he'll he'll definitely be able to do one more lap. 
This is it. What's he gonna get here? Twenty-eight one fifty-four. Uh, I figured. And time is up. They're giving another thirty seconds to finish their lap. So is anybody gonna give a shot clock cheese to Charles Jackson? It doesn't look like it. Yep, it's safe to say now that Charles Jackson has indeed won the pole for the Sprint Budweiser All Pro Series All Star Race as they now finish their laps. That is it. Nobody's really up there, too, and that's it complete. Charles officially will get the pull. Now they're going to have another 30 to go back on track, but now we pause and we show you the rest of the field. Charles oh, Jackson officially gets the pull. Cody Hagen moved himself up to third. Yeah, Hagen got a really good run right there. I did not even really notice that. Cole Dally ended up ninth right there. That was solid for the 88. But a lot of shuffling toward the bottom of the field, and Eighth McCurry was still the slowest car out on track. He was the only one that hit a hit um, in the 28s, couldn't go higher than the 27.9. Yeah. But don't forget, though, anything could happen. You could start from the bottom and work your way up. So anything could happen. Just give it some time, and we'll see what can happen when the All-Star Race is officially here. Yep. That's pretty good, too, because you never know what's going to happen. Dylan, Dylan, it looks like your clone qualified you in the back at 19th position. Yeah, I guess the clone failed me, I guess it's safe to say. So he's going to have to be fired. Well, we've um, had a pretty long race. Plus, we got segments, too, so you never know exactly what's going to happen. But it's always safe to say that there, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can get your car hooked up, you should be all right. Yeah, anything could happen. We'll see what could happen. There could be a wreck, too, if possible, but just, uh, you know, we'll see what can happen. Uh, looking forward to it, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, not only surprise people winning the Ulster race, we'll try to see if we can uh, play some spoilers as well. Heck, yeah. All right, field is set, so coming up next is the All-Star race. Dylan, thank you for joining me, so you better go get prepared, because you've got a lot of work to do. Prepare your anus. <laughs> All right, so... Next up, all-star race, till we meet again.